Hello Planeswalker, welcome to One Pack Magic, where we open one pack of magic cards. Today's episode is brought to you by Bacon. Tasty, tasty bacon. Anyway, it is November, so every week we will open a pack that has not been featured yet on the channel. I mean, even though I've only been here a couple of months, so all the packs are new. Hooray! So we're going back in time to the Guilds of Ravnica. If you don't know what Ravnica is, it is, it was, anyway, a plane of, I think, like, eight guilds, or nine guilds, a lot of guilds, um, actually, I think it's technically it's ten guilds, because it's like, there were, like, mana color combinations of multiple guilds, anyway, I don't know, I kind of checked out at that time, but this is back when there was only one type of booster pack, so... Let's see, let's unlock the past and see what we get. Oh, forgot about this part. This is back when the the cards were uh, not facing, I don't know why they switched them from this way to other way. Anyway, starting off, Passwall Adept, a one blue human wizard. With 1-3 and 2 and a blue, target creature can't be blocked this turn. That's pretty cool. Make a little uh, sneaky guy. Maximum Velocity. Uh, it is a single red sorcery. Target creature gets plus 1, plus 1 and gains haste until end of turn. Jumpstart. Which, I think that was one of the mechanics of this block. Uh, you may cast this card from your graveyard by discarding a card in addition to paying its other costs. Then exile this card. So, yeah. Discard a card, pay one, give another creature it again, and then it's removed from the game. Healer's Hawk. A single white bird with 1-1, one, one, flying, lifelink. There you go. It's still little bird. Alright, Dazzling Lights. A single blue instant. Target creature gets minus three, minus zero until end of turn. And Surveil 2. Surveil, Surveil. Uh, reminder. Look at the top two cards of your library, then put any number of them into your graveyard, and the rest on top of your library in any order. So, it's, uh... Scry, uh, scry, mill, and cycling all mixed into one. Bartizan bats. Even though it is a single bat. But there's like one right back there. Still, bat. Three black. Bat. Three one and flying. It's a pretty strong bat, but it's a bat. So we can take out in one hit. Portcullis vine. A single green plant wall, zero three, defender, which means it can attack. Um, pay two, tap, sacrifice a creature with defender, draw a card. Yeah, well, that's, I mean, that's pretty good uh, start if you get that in your opening hand. Boom. You got uh, defense. Goblin Electromancer. A blue red goblin wizard. 2-2. Two, two. And instants and sorcery spells you cast cost one less to cast. Actually, that's not bad. That'd be really good in a speed deck. I, you know, speedier deck. Siege Worm. A 5 green green worm. With 5-5. Five, five, pretty big. Uh, Convoke. Your creatures can help cast the spell. Each creature you tap while ch casting the spell pays for... Hmm, excuse me. Phase for one mana or one mana of that creature's color. So tap like five creatures and you bring it out in two. Also it's trample, which means blocking ain't gonna stop it. A Boris Locket. A three mana artifact. Tap, add red or red or white. A red white splitsy 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 splitsy. All the splitsies. Tap, sacrifice Boris Locket, 
Draw two cards. Oh, uh, yeah, these are the fun ones. These are the split cards, which you could pay. Like, you could pay one red white splitsy. Target creature gets plus two, plus two until the end of turn. Or, oh, by the way, it's Integrity Intervention. Some of these had, like, pretty funny names. Like, some were like, Give and Take, um, Stop and Go. I mean, they were introduced. Uh, I can't remember which side they were. Long, long ass time ago. Um, I want to say late 90s. Because I remember when they just came out. I Actually, I remember them because the unglued set had one of these. It was a, a five, like five of these into one. And it was who, what, when, where, and why. I just, so it had to come out around then. Which means probably Mercadia's masks? I don't know. I'll look it up later. Anyway, other tiny card. Intervention. Two red-white. Intervention deals three damage to any target, and you gain three life. And that is pretty freaking sweet. Hazda Marshall. Not to be accused with the Mazda Marshall, which is a... Well, it's not a branded car. Although they might have done it at some point. But, no. Anyway, single white... Human Soldier, 1-1, one, one, and whenever Hazda has, Marshal and at least two other creatures attack, create a 1-1 one, one white soldier creature token with lifelink. So, get three, get one free. Street Riot. A four red, four red enchantment. As long as it's your turn, creatures you control get plus one, plus zero, and have trample. That is pretty nasty for... Uh, well, that's on par for red, but... Give all your creatures na trample. Extra nasty. Risk Factor. A two red instant. Apparently it's our, uh, rare. Target opponent may have Risk Factor deal four damage to them. If that player doesn't, you draw three cards. And Jumpstart. You may cast this card from your graveyard by discarding a card in addition to paying its cost. Then exile, as you do. Oh, this, uh, I believe this is our foil. Yeah, we got a foil rare. Hooray. Uh, Chamber Sentry. It is X, Artifact Creature Construct, 0, zero. Here we go. Chamber Sentry enters the battlefield with a plus one plus one counter on it for each color of mana spent to cast it. So, if you got five different lands, well, I mean, there's only five different types of colors, so at max, that's a 5-5. Five, five. Well, maybe 6-6 six, six if colorless counts. If it does, but I think it's just 5-5. Five, five. Anyway, pay X, tap, remove X counters from chamber, pat, chamber sentry. It deals X damage to any target. Pay one of each type of mana. White, blue, black, red, green. Return Chamber Sentry from your graveyard to your hand. And we got a Golgari Guild Gate. GG Gate. GG. It is land. It is a gate. Uh, Golgari Guild Gate enters the battlefield tapped. Tap. Add one black or one green mana. And our token is nice. Our token is an angel. The token angel. <clears throat> anyway, flying, vigilance, 4-4. Four, four. What you expect from an angel. Alright, so. What would I play with this? What would I what would I use? Um, I'd use that. You know, backup is always good. Uh, if I had a rainbow deck, definitely. Because that would be easily 5-5. Five, five. Uh, I like this. I like this little... Uh, do you want to get hurt, or do you want to get hurt later? <laughs> do you want to get hurt now, or do you want to get hurt later? That's essentially all it is. Uh, yeah. I like Street Riot. That's a good idea. Give everyone trample. This will be good. You know, plop it down mid-stage, and you boom, get extra shit. Um, yeah. It's pretty good. 
this has been a Boros heavy. Boros is one of the guilds, obviously. So, uh, also a couple others, but yeah, eh, maybe, maybe not. Uh, I like Convolk, so I'd use that. Convolk. Uh, this is a di this is Is It Guild. Now, a lot of these cards will show you what guild they're from, along with the monotype. Uh, yeah, I like walls. Walls are fun. Just have people beat their heads against it. I don't know. There might be a wall with reach. I don't think so. Anyway, this is pretty good. I mean, four mana for flying, but... Uh, that, I believe that one is Demir, which Demir is blue and black. Uh, they're the secretive guild. So, but I do like that. You know, pay one mana, someone's minus three, and you get to switch your cards around. That one is definitely a good playable one. Uh, yeah, that one's good too. I'd play that. And, uh, that's always good to have a sneaky wizard on your hands. So I'd play that. So, um, I've gotten a lot new, I've gotten a lot of subscribers. Uh, I think about 14, 13, 14, somewhere around that. Maybe 14. I don't know. Uh, I won't know until after I upload this video. But, thank you to all the new subscribers. And if you made it this far, thanks. I will see you tomorrow and have a magical day.